What's cracking, guys? Bruce Matson, your host of the show, Metric Scout Fantasy Football, a show that just deep dives players, goes over film, and just tries to help you out with your fantasy team. Something you're into, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, tell your homies, and everything else. Everybody's wondering what to do with Allen Robinson right now. It's not looking good for him. It's not like he had a drop off in talent. It's not like he's all of a sudden super slow or whatever. It's just the Bears. It's just the Bears, really. Allen Robinson right now, wide receiver 59 and PPR fantasy scoring. The usage numbers are looking good. 23% target share, 11.4 average depth of target, and he owns a 33% of the air yards. So when this offense starts humming, he could start being productive. But right now, the Bears are averaging 125 passing yards per game. That's not getting it done for anybody. That's not fueling any fantasy production. That is just a killer for wide receivers and fantasy. So how are we going to move forward with that Robinson? Are we going to hold him, trade him, buy him? It just depends on what's going on with your team. If he's on your roster... And obviously there's something better on the waiver wire or you can use them as part of a package to trade for somebody. You may want to think about doing that because we do not know if this team's going to get better or not. And if you have the opportunity to get better on your fantasy team, you get better. You do that. You make that trade happen. Right now we're halfway through the season. Redraft is a sprint to the finish line. If you're middle of the pack right now, you bottom third in your league, you have to do something different. And if Allen Robinson's there on your roster and you can make a move to make your team better, you do it. On the flip side, if you have a really good team and you think Allen Robinson will be able to get in a few shootouts or something later down the year, these usage stats, then go ahead and buy them. But if you do buy them, buy them on the free. Like, not even low. On the free. Because right now, wide receiver 59 is a wide receiver 5. He's not startable. But the usage metrics are letting you know that he could pop off. We may not know when to put him in our lineups. He may have like three blow-up games this year, back into the season. But those three games, we may not know to have him in our lineups because he's been so bad from a fantasy football perspective. So you got to look at it in that sense. For me, I'm going to hold him until I can't. If I have to drop him, I'm not going to be afraid to because this Bears offense is averaging 125 yards per game. I hate fueling fantasy production and there's other wide receivers that could probably get it done. If I miss out on Robinson, I drop him. It's it's my bad. I have good process here because we're halfway through the season. We already know what's going on. I just don't see things getting better. There could be some splash matchups along the way. But I also want to hold him as long as I can, as long as I can fit him on my roster because he is getting 23% share of the targets. He is getting 33% of the air yards. So if this team gets in any shootouts some way, shape, or form, and I need him on my lineup, I can throw him in there. But I don't trust him at all. He's droppable if you got somebody better to pick up or if you need to fill a need if you got to fill out your lineup and you're hit with injuries hit with bye weeks then go ahead you got to do the best thing for your team here Allen robinson is not Allen robinson this year at least right now he could flip the script he could end up finishing the year better but right now we do not trust him to begin with so if he does start doing better we may not trust him enough to put him in our lineups to reap the rewards so you got to look at him that perspective as well so just look at him on your roster and just do a cost benefit analysis on what else you can get to fill that void if you need to fill a lineup and you gotta pick somebody off waivers and it's tough with what's on your bench and you may need to drop robinson and do that pick up again this is a sprint to the finish and you have to make sure that you're good down the stretch i think that's the best advice to take on this situation just do a cost benefit analysis on your team do what's right and go from there another thing don't be scared to buy them on the free if you got spots for them if you're good on the rest of your lineup just to see if it hits down the line 
but I would not pay for him whatsoever because Allen Robinson is not Allen Robinson right now. I want to thank you for watching the show. Sticking with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. Every subscription matters. Fuels me to keep putting out this content. Fuels me to keep helping you with your fantasy teams and everything else. I also do film reviews, so you may want to check those out in the archives. I want to thank you again, and I'll catch you next time.